Let's continue on with our discussion about variables and let's look at next uh, identifiers for variables. So I'm going to create another class, public class variable identifier. Z fun. Public static void main string args. Okay, so what can I name a variable? If I've got an integer that represents a number, what can I name it? Well, I can name it number, and that's fine. What can't I name it, I guess is maybe the better question. Can I name it class? If I try and name an integer class, it's going to yell at me. And say that's not a statement. That doesn't even make any sense. And furthermore, I expected a semicolon. And furthermore, I need an identifier here. Um, th this word class means something to Java. So I can't use class as an identifier. Um, I can't use uh, numbers. I can't say 1, 2, 3 and make that an identifier. It, it'll give me the same types of errors saying that that doesn't make any sense. It needs to be words. And the legal characters that we can use are letters. Uh, so I can name it A. That's fine. And in fact, I can name it ABC. That's fine. And in fact, I can say 1, 2, 3, ABC 1, 2, 3 compile that. That works fine. That's a completely legal identifier or the name that I'm giving to the variable. What I can't do is say 1, 2, 3, A, B, C. Then I'm going to get an error saying that doesn't work. We can't start with a number, but we can have numbers in the variable once we start it. I could say A1, B2, C3. totally legal identifier. I just can't start with a number. So I can't, again, say, give me an int and name it 1. I need to give it a name that uh, begins with a letter. The other valid characters that I can use are an underscore. So I could say uh, user underscore age. And that's a legal character. And I can also say uh, user dollar sign, that's a legal character, but I can't say user at sign. It's going to give me an error. So the only things that I can use for variable names are letters, numbers, and dollar sign and underscore. Those are the only legal characters that I can use and again the rule is variable name cannot start with a number or I, I also can't start even though dollar sign is a valid character I can't start it. Okay dollar sign works. Let's see if I can do underscore. Okay, so that works okay too. So the only rule is you can't start it with a number then. Okay, and beyond that, we can name a variable whatever we want. So we could just call our variable x. The problem with that is x doesn't tell us what it holds. Let's say that holds, uh, you know, a number of feet the number of feet in uh, let's see the pressure's on here uh, the funny thing about these uh, videos is the further I get into them the less I want to go back and re-record them and so the higher my tolerance is for uh, making errors like this of not being able to think of a good example of what we're measuring here and so what I'll do is just uh, refer to these guys when I get stuck They'll save me because you just got to laugh at that. Okay, so I'm trying to store the number of feet tall that a building is. How about that? So how many feet tall is it? 
Well, if I say X, I can use that as an identifier, but it's not really a good name, is it? It'd be much better to give it a descriptive name that actually means something of what it is. Since I can name it just about anything um, other than reserved words and then these other uh, restrictions that we've talked about, why don't I give it a name that describes what it is? And we use the same type of uh, camel case, but we always start variables with a lowercase letter so that we can differentiate uh, variables from classes. May, or methods also start with a lowercase letter. So all of these are identifiers, by the way. This is an identifier for the class. This is an identifier for the method. And this is going to be an identifier for the variable. And they all, all of those same rules that we, up, that, that we talked about for variables apply to here, too. You can't start a class with a 1, 2, 3. And by the way, you can't have a space in the name. So if I say this is height of building, then it will yell at me here and say, I expected a semicolon right after height because you can't have any spaces in your variable names. And so instead, what I'll do is this. I'll say building height. How about that for a variable name? Does that describe what it is? And that's what we're shooting for in variable names is that if we, if we name things right, I, I took a course a while back uh, and I, I believe it was in the, I can't remember if it was in the course or in one of the textbooks we read for the course, that, that kind of made the claim that we shouldn't even need commenting because we should name our variables so well and our classes so well and our methods so well that the, the program almost reads like a book. If I name this building height, then I know exactly what's being stored in there. And so that's what we're shooting for uh, with identifiers. We're shooting for something that's descriptive but that follows the rules. Okay? Does that make sense? All right, well, we'll continue on uh, talking about uh, other aspects of variables in the next video. And with that, Spencer out.